now, freshly cooked chicken in the oven, you know, it's 20 bucks each. From the farm. Open till what time? Eight. Medium is open, vegetables. Open till eight. Vegetables. Yeah, it's medium. Vegetables. Uh, chicken in the oven right now. Getting cooked. Hello. Can you buy some chicken, please? Okay. One, one Just the Island Lake is one of the uh, food insecure uh, communities. Uh, our area being remote, everything is, uh, is at a cost. And to have this idea of growing your own food, selling your own food, and keeping that money, keeping that economy within the community, I do believe. And that's the idea of Meacham is to, to produce, to grow, and to sell, and then to pay your own people. I'm from uh, Garden Hill, First Nation, and I remember growing up, every home basically had a garden. It was here long before contact. This area right here, it was all garden. Well, where the houses are here, up to the last house, it was all uh, community, community, community garden, eh? Community garden here. But I don't know how long it lasted. You know, when I was when I, my younger younger days, the minister was paddling along, and he looked he looked up the houses, and he said, "You know, this every house has a garden. It's those hills." And he said, "It's Garden Hill," and that's how Garden Hill got its name. Our job, along with the First Nations, to to create employment and businesses out here. The project's a combination of, of a market on one hand and a farm on the other hand. Find a balance between new technology and our traditional ways. Locally grown foods like chickens that we uh, grow up here and uh, vegetables that uh, hopefully we could uh, harvest.
got started on this project and we were starting to get organized for the winter road shipment and Byron was like, we've got to hire Robert Guilford. You know, the biggest challenges was planning it. You basically land in the bush, build everything that you're gonna need, right from the first screw on sort of thing. You have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but uh, it really has worked out well, I think. My name is Grace Harper, and I work at the farm. I'm proud of doing this job because I'm the only lady here. Curiosity. There is a lot of curiosity and when we found out the First Nations is setting up a farm here. I was like kind of stoked about it. Oh, there's going to be a farm garden, huh? All right. Everything's good about farming. You are making food for the people. It's opened their eyes a lot to what the possibilities are. So it's really good for them. I never knew how to plant anything. I never knew when the right time was to plant or even how to raise chickens. But since working there, I'm pretty good at it. I've, I know a lot more than I did before. My name is Brenda Wolfer Canada. I live in Garden Hill. And I like to work here a lot. Planting, watering, feed the chickens. It's pretty awesome. To grow your own food. <laughs> Garden Hills comprise about 4,000 people. There's no healthy food stores in the community, and there's no way of getting healthy foods into our food systems. The provincial government uh, stepped up with $300,000. It's equivalent to the same cost as treating one dialysis patient for three years. And there's 500 people in Garden Hill with diabetes. And this is a way of us helping create a healthy food market, which is cheaper than what you buy at uh, the stores that are located on an island, away from the reserve. We have to eat healthy foods. There's a lot of problems with people here, like uh, heart condition and cholesterol, diabetes and the things that we didn't have before in the past. A lot of our elders say we should go back to where we were, how we used to live, but that doesn't mean to go back in your wigwams, on your teepees. It's to go back and to, to, to awaken that spirit, to awaken that knowledge that you do have. It's up to us to start teaching our children how to uh, garden. That's compost. Just fish and leaves and dirt. Fish bring in nutrients from the bottom of the lake, and this is where they end up, in the garden. That's why we use uh, fish for gardens, because water is life. We, we, come on, we want to get on us, and then he comes up mad, comes up mad, we. We want to try and start that again and get back to what we used to do in Garden Hill. We gardened. Who's going to do this? Who's going to do the honors and put it in the ground? Gloves off. Put a little hole. Make sure that put a hole in there. We've been deciding to make sure the roots are spread out. Yeah, like that. Make sure you push the roots down. 
Here's your first apple tree. When you plant that seed, when you put it in the ground, you're creating life. You take care of that. You nurture it as your own. That's what food security means to me and our people.